Greetings, Rumpel family. I greet you from the Rumpel Sanctuary to share some exciting news and to invite your questions and engagement in many exciting things that are happening in our life and ministry together. The session met on Monday evening, January the 11th for a called meeting and considered four related items. These are items that will affect our mission and ministry as we go forward, as we seek to faithfully discern who God is calling us to be and what God is calling us to do, and as we seek to live out our vision and mission that were adopted by the session in the summer of 2019. These are conversations, and we hope that you will reach out to any of us on this session if you have questions, and we hope that you'll participate in upcoming conversations that we will make available for people to ask questions and to offer input. The session considered four items on January 11th. The first two pertain to the manse. That's the home where my family and I live, which is located just across the street from the church's back parking lot on Laurel Drive. The first item was to create a manse renovation fund where specific donations and contributions can go for the renovation and expansion of the manse. The second item was to engage a local architect well known by many in the Rumpel family and well respected here in the high country to develop architectural plans to renovate and to expand the manse. You may know that home was built originally in 1961 with the labor of Rumpel church family members. The third item that the session agreed to on January 11th was to engage a consulting firm from Raleigh, North Carolina, a firm that came highly recommended to us by other churches in North Carolina, and a firm that members of the session and other members of the church interviewed with me back in December. The session agreed to engage this firm to help us in a feasibility study. That will be a three or four month long process where they will engage with many of you in the congregation to listen for your energy and enthusiasm and commitment to a potential building campaign and capital campaign. And the fourth item is related to that. You may have heard, I hope you have, that there has been a properties assessment group of our implementation team, that's the group put together, to try to help us to live out our vision and mission. That group has been meeting for many months and engaged with an architectural firm out of Charlotte who does a lot of building for churches. That architectural firm made a presentation to the session in December about a master plan, a proposed master plan for the main campus here at Rumpel. That plan includes renovations and expansions. The session agreed to engage this architectural firm to develop further drawings and designs so that this proposed master plan can be shared and understood by more and more of us with architectural designs and drawings that all of us will be able to envision. This is all exciting things that are happening in our life and ministry together. And the session really hopes that you will engage with us in these discussions as we go forward. And we hope that you will join us in mounting and growing enthusiasm and energy for all God is doing and stirring within us here at Rumpel. Please reach out to us if you have questions and look for upcoming messages and emails and announcements in the e-news about ways that you can be involved in upcoming conversations. Be well.